just as confusing as this, if not more. This um, cross here with red and white circle around it, that is um, the 3D cursor and that is to signal where you want to put objects um, mostly. So let's go back into this. Resizing windows um, hold hold the border with the red m left mouse button um, and drag up and down. So you go to this bit here um, underneath this 3D viewport header and to we see the double sided arrow. Hold down the left mouse button and drag it up and then let go and then drag it down and then let that go now so you can also do that um, with this one here and if you haven't noticed to change the size of this this is also affecting it that makes it smaller makes it bigger um, so that's straightforward um, something else is you hold your mouse over save the buttons window hit control and up and it just completely covers the screen and if you want to remove that you hit control and up again control and down works as well for both of them but I tend to use control up. Um, it also works for the 3D viewport and the other window up there which we won't go into um, so get used to using the middle mouse button to rotate the view as well view top <laughs> um, so now we shall look at splitting windows okay then so splitting a window is useful for when you want to use more than one of these settings so what we want to do is go to where you extended the window and right click and you'll get this little menu what you do is you click split area and you get this line going through the screen now I'm gonna split the window in the middle and when you go to the middle of the screen the line turns pink so when you're in the right place for now you can just use any random place you want I uh, will go in the middle um, so left click when it's in the right place and you'll notice that this has two different windows and by the way when I'm zooming in and out I'm using the scroll wheel on my mouse um, but you can use to get a more detailed zoom you can use the plus and minus buttons on the numpad and that also accounts if you haven't got a scroll wheel on your mouse um, so I mentioned earlier that you use these windows so just click here and then select a random window I'll choose the UV image editor now I told you now this is used for textures using your own textures on the object so but that isn't in need of knowing now if you're not happy with the placement of the line now that you've selected it you hold your mouse cursor over the line hold down the left mouse button and you can drag the line to where you would like it so I'll just shrink it to there so try that out um, and we'll go back into the book um, yes now it's all about joining the window so you go into blender hold your mouse cursor over the um, line which is split like you did when you moved the line and right click and you'll see that familiar 
list that you're seeing when you split the area. Click join areas and then you get a big arrow on your screen. Now when you point the arrow in say this direction it will remove this screen and keep this one but what we want to do is um, keep this screen and remove this one so we point the arrow into this screen by holding the cursor over that screen and click with the left mouse button and you get this screen back if you say accidentally I'm just going to split this area again to show you if you accidentally remove this screen and you end up with something like this just go into this menu which I showed you earlier and go down to where it says 3D view and it will give you this screen so let's continue yes it has the frequently asked questions um, uh, but I won't go through them if you have a question to ask ask it in the comments and either someone that knows about this will answer your question or if I have chance I will answer the question for you or you can message me in YouTube so let's go on to the use preferences window and like I say my apologies if I have to split this into multiple tutorials so here's another list of contents and it's going to go through the use preferences window to start with um, so the use preferences window is this window which I shown you earlier but let's just put that to the top for now um, so first we'll teach you the detail of the use preference window now I'm not going to take you into detail with this because it's not overly necessary for the time being but pull down that um, window by holding your cursor over the line that separates the header here from the 3D window. Hold down the left mouse button and drag. And you'll get this um, rather confusing, intimidating array of buttons. We will only go through a few of these. So here we have select with the right mouse button and the left mouse button. Um, now this is to select things in your 3D view or in other windows but we'll stick to the 3D view. So right now the cube is selected, middle mouse button to rotate and the way we know that is selected is because it has a pink outline so let's go to view top and you can still see the pink outline um, and we've got it on right mouse so right mouse click on the light 